I'm Kelly Anthony, home chef and blogger behind the AnthonyKitchen.com, and I've teamed up with the National Junior Master Gardener Program to bring you a series of garden kitchen recipes. Today, we are making easy cauliflower and broccoli. The kids are seriously going to love this. Before we can make our easy cauliflower and broccoli dish, we first have to get into the cauliflower and the broccoli. Here is the easiest way to cut cauliflower. Turn it upside down and cut it in half. Then cut each half in half. So we're quartering the cauliflower. Now using my paring knife, I'm going to remove this thick stalk here in the middle of the cauliflower. And I'll do that for each quarter. Now I can easily break up my cauliflower into little florets just using my hands. However, if I have any large florets, I might use my paring knife and just either half them or quarter them. So here we have a large cauliflower floret, and I'm just gonna go ahead and quarter this one. Now the broccoli is a little bit easier to get into. I'm just gonna turn it upside down, and I'm just going to trim off the little florets using my paring knife. Just kind of rotate it around, trimming as you go. I'm gonna do the same thing to the broccoli as I did with the cauliflower, and any florets that are pretty big, I'm gonna go ahead and trim them down a little bit. To wash, rinse the broccoli and the cauliflower under cool running water. The next part of this recipe is gonna take place on the stove top. I'm gonna add a half cup of water to a large pan. Add in my broccoli and cauliflower. Now you wanna make sure that you're working with a pan that has a fitted lid, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this over to the stove top, and that water in the pan is going to rise up and steam those vegetables and do all the cooking for us. So I'm gonna get this going over high heat and let it steam for about three minutes. While your vegetables are steaming, this is an ideal time to prep the rest of your ingredients. We're gonna use one and a half cups of low fat shredded cheddar. The recipe also calls for three tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese. Now for the fun part. We're gonna take 10 crackers, add them to a plastic bag and seal it shut. Then hand over either a rolling pin or a meat mallet and let those kids go to town crushing the crackers. Once the vegetables are fork tender, add the milk to the skillet and reduce the heat to low. You'll cut the cream cheese into cubes and add them to the skillet. Allow it to melt and stir occasionally. Then in goes the yogurt, stir to coat, and sprinkle with the shredded cheddar, followed by the crackers, and then the Parmesan cheese. Stir it all together. Somehow, we managed to include both crackers and cheese into a dish both ingredients kids love and still keep it healthy. If you'd like to have a printed copy of this recipe to have on hand, go to jmgkids.us backslash garden kitchen. The recipes featured in this series are from the Junior Master Gardener curriculum project called Learn, Grow, Eat, and Go. To find out more about this evidence-based curriculum being used in schools across the country, click on the Learn, Grow, Eat, and Go link on this page. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.